Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Mia. I'm one of the battle trainers here in Ferrum. I battle alongside my trusty partner, Weavile. Have you ever seen a Pokemon this cute? I doubt it. Oh, he's just sleeping over there. Don't mind him. You must be the interesting new trainer I heard about who's about to join us. How about I show you around and stuff? Right then, first things first. Welcome to the Ferrum Battle. Here in Ferrum, you'll need to work as one with your partner, Pokemon, and face off in some intense one-on-one -on -one battles. After you finish your trainer registration, you'll be given something called a Battle AR. It has a synergy stone built into it that allows you to synergize with your Pokemon in battle. But hey, you've got a... I'll give you right then. Let... This is the Ferrum region, where we are now. Ferrum battles are the types of battles. To start off, right now, it's all. Don't worry. Next up, this is a next when you there. Oh, in. Alrighty then. Feel free to start off where I think you might be best off heading to Techno City to play through the tutorial and. Here, you can learn in the tutorial in free trick I'd recommend. Oh, right, you can use the pause. Which Pokemon are you battling with? In this course, I'll teach you all about the basics of the game. Now then. Alrighty, go ahead. You can use the plus control pad to move around the field. You can also jump with the beam up. If you press in the same direction twice on the plus control pad, you can step forward and back or side to side. Okay. Next up, we press this button. Long distance attack right a Nicely done. Next, you'll launch an attack. Go. Now you're getting it. Alrighty then, all battles at the start of the battle. And this is dual phase. You can tell which phase you're. Now then. Well, if you land a certain... Let's check out... Alrighty, try to hit... Okay! In dual phase, you can dish out some serious... Here's where the... But you'll need the way you move... Let's practice... By pressing forward twice on the plus control pad, you can perform a forward dash step. By pressing back twice on the plus control pad, you can perform a forward dash step. 
You can jump using the B button. In dual phase, the action is highly varied. Land a certain attack on your opponent. You can also... Send them flying back into... Someone with wits like yours has probably... Battles will involve shifting back... Plus, when you cause a phase shift, and by that, I mean... more about how to... Ah, right. I forgot to tell you. You can block by blocking already. Just hold down. Whenever you're in a pinch... All right. Keep it... This is your synergy once your synergy gauge. Your Pokemon used its synergy for your Pokemon wreak havoc with them. You can use a burst attack once try using a burst. some huge damage. You definitely don't want to miss your chance. Tutorial finish. Which Pokemon are you battling with? In this course, I'll tell you all you need to Press this, it's great because you can use this is what try to land. Okay! Press the X button while jumping and land a hit, and you'll cause a phase shift. You'll want to. Try to land. There we go! Now you're getting it! During dual phase, if you land a hit with the Y button, press the Y button. Land consecutive. This is what we land a poke. While you're still getting the hang of battles, hit. a time it just. You can use counter it. Try to counter your. But grab attacks are all about. By using grab attacks, <laughs> on top of that, grab. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> use a grab attack. Counter 
counter attacks beat normal attacks. Grab attacks beat counter attacks. And normal attacks beat grab attacks. Basically, this attack triangle is like a fancy game of rock, paper, scissors. Trainers who master this attack triangle will take control of the battle. Probably. This thing over here is called the support gauge. Your support gauge will fill up as time passes. And once your support gauge is full, press the L button and try calling in a support Pokémon. It'll come in and use one of its Pokémon moves to help you out. And before each round, you can switch out the support Pokémon you want to use. You can choose which support Pokémon you want to use from your active support set. 